It's like you get absorbed into your own little world whenever he shows up. What the? Uh, was that really necessary? <laughs> uh, I don't believe my eyes. Did you go up a cup? What? Are we really seriously discussing this? Keep a PG-13, you two. How those monster melons continue to evolve, I'll never know. I better inspect for padding. Uh. Um, excuse me. Could you please stop? Where am I supposed to be looking here? Not down there, I can assure you. That's the first thing that will happen to you is a fist to the face. At the feast before your eyes, of course. Shut up, you. Stop your staring and get it together, Lloyd. Now, now, Ilya, play nice. <laughs> well, at least everyone's in good spirits. Still. I feel like something bad is about to happen. Surely it can't go without any kind of issue, right? Also, just a little bit of warning also. If you do see random cuts, and it won't be too obvious unless you hear the music, it's because I'm trying to cut out unwanted stuff. I know everyone knows that, but still, I always feel the need to okay. assure you that, yes, I'm still new at this, and yes, it's going to be a little choppy, but at least I'm putting my best for foot forward. All the banners around town have Crossbell's emblem again. Yeah. Makes it feel like we're back to normal. Mm. Even I'm compelled to shed a tear seeing this. I can't tell if that was sarcasm or not. Hi! Oh, there you are. The sign-in ceremony just around the corner. You three must have a sprint in your step as you patrol the city today, huh? I guess you could say that. You sound like you're in high spirits yourself, Wendy. Looks like you have a lot of customers coming today. That's great. That's because we're putting on a big sale to celebrate the occasion. Plus, this is the time of year when everyone is looking for a fresh start. Suffice to say, our sales today are through the roof. Not that money is everything, of course. It's nice to just see so many happy, smiling customers, too. That's great. Sounds like business is really booming. I take it that means nothing strange or unusual has happened around here? Not that I'm aware of. Everything has been the same old same old. Guess that means you guys can't exactly take it easy and let your guards down to because the rest of us are celebrating. I get it. In that case, why not give us your ordinance a tune-up while you're here? Not like you'll have time later, right? You've got a good point. You may as well, while we're here. That's a spirit. Now let's see how I can help you today. I thought they were already maxed. Are they not? Oh, and while I have you all here, there's something I should tell you about the Arcus too. The Reinford group recently put out a new version they did. Jeez Louise, Lissa. Really? Anything special about it? A lot from what I can tell. You guys should try upgrading your slots for now. You'll be able to equip stronger quartz than you've used before once you get a slot up to level 3. Give me a sec. I'll show you some test samples lying around here somewhere. Here they are. Use a set of to upgrade a slot and insert that quartz. It's on the house. Okay, cool. You really do spoil us, you know that? Thanks, Wendy. We'll give it a whirl. Yeah! Don't mention it. That's what friends are for. 
Anyway, I'll let you all get back to it. Today is busy for bo us both, so here's to a smooth Independence Day. Am I right? If you need me to tinker with your ornaments again, you know where to find me. Repairs, upgrades, you name it. I'll handle it. We'll let you know if we need anything. Thanks again, Wendy. What he said. But I'll be fine with not having to touch my orbit much today. I'm in very much agreement with that. I'm a little confused. Is that like in the next area? Didn't you used to live here, around here, Lloyd? Yeah, I lived in Bellheim Apartments. It's vacated now, but I still know plenty of people from that area. Like Oscar from the local bakery, the folks at Tally's. I'd say we know them just as well as you do at this point, given how much you used to go on and on. <laughs> That's just how it goes when you join the SSS. I'll stop you guys. But hey, since we're all here and all, how about we go and say our hellos? Sounds fine to me. In a way, it almost kind of reminds me of, um, Dreykel's Plaza. Huh. Hi, Randy. What a weird trio you guys make. I wouldn't talk if I were you. Hi, Randy. Hi, Murray. Doing well? I'd say they are. Are we interrupting your date? Date! <laughs> That's not what we're doing. Right, right. Because everybody just conveniently has a coffee break under an umbrella with another person of the opposite sex, right? I was asking for his input on today's security measures as a valued former member of the Guardian Force. That's why you're blushing. <laughs> Come on, be honest. Just say you're happy you get to spend time with me now that I've wrapped up my work in the Empire. No! Stop making things up! <laughs> well, is it just me or is it getting a little steamy over here? Oh gosh. Knock it off, Wazzy. She can't have both of you messing with her. <laughs> it's like he never left. I'm sure you'll be sorely missed at the branch campus, Randy. Oh. The operation was your way of coming back home, right? Yeah. To be honest, there's a part of me that would have liked to keep on a little longer as an instructor, but that's life. Randy. All that means is you found another place to hold dear. That's a great thing. It wasn't without its struggles, but I gained so much by being there. Walking in, I never thought it'd be... Walking in, I never thought it'd become as important to me as it is. Something strange about seeing just how much kids can grow in a year because of you is... Well, it's nice to feel I, like I did right by them. You absolutely did. You definitely did for Yuna. Because Yuna really had an, something out for Reen. This almost makes me wish I could have seen you in action. I'll bet you made an amazing instructor. I mean, he wasn't bad. Well, he always did have a knack for showing others the rope with the Guardian Force. He might like he might look like he doesn't care, but he does a stellar job of caring for others and supporting them in all kinds of subtle ways. If he wasn't there for me when I was under the sorry excuse for a commander, I don't know what I wait. <laughs> Too late. Secrets out now, I'm afraid. Oh, wow. I didn't know you thought about me that much. Th that's because I don't. I was providing an objective perspective. That's all. Is it just me or has she gotten worse with hiding her feelings? It could be because he was away for so long. It's not just her, though. Anyway, let's all keep up the good work on the job today, so the signing ceremony will be a success. Do put the do the force proud today, second lieutenant. <laughs> yes, ma'am. 
But you still got explanation points. We're not done with you guys yet. Oh yeah, almost forgot something in all the hustle and bustle. Reen and Uni! <gasps> Reen and Uni wanted me to pass along a couple of messages. Congratulations on Crossbell's re-independence. Once things have calmed down a bit, I'd love to be able to visit. Can't wait. I wish I could be there for the signing ceremony, but good luck with security. Is Reed's voice different, or is it just me? Next time I'm home, I'll be sure to drop by the SSS HQ with some souvenirs. That's nice of them. Now we've got something to look forward to. I'm sure there's been no shortage of work to be done for everyone at Thor's. That's an understatement. They've been flying out all over the Empire to help it get its back to its feet. Uni went back ahead of me once the operation was over. Yuna was something of an SSS hopeful, wasn't she? Yeah, she debated coming back to Crossbell for good after the operation. Ultimately, though, she wants to stay at Thor's until she graduates. She has always been the type to see things through, so I'm not surprised. I was worried when she first went to the Empire, but it all worked out in the end. You two are good, pretty good friends, weren't you? Makes sense, when they're so alike. You're both so earnest and sincere that I never could get bored of riling you up. Oh, shush. But yeah, I was the one teaching her how to use her gun breakers when she was at the police academy. We got to talking then, and it turned out that we had a lot in common. Love for cute animals, biking, and even the SSS. It makes me happy knowing she's found her own path in life. Same here. Hopefully she and Reen will be able to come by soon. With Crow! With how hard they work, they'll get done in no time. Oh, you're not kidding. Reen doesn't know what a break is. That means we can't afford to slack up on sprucing up crossbell, though. Slack on, not slack up. <laughs> Gotta make it nice and pretty for him. Yep, this is it. If I remember correctly, this is... Yeah, it's where our old acquaintance opened his law firm before being arrested. After that, the place was vacated for a while. The Crossbell Times apparently occupied the space until just recently. I had no idea. The former office of Bruce Lee Grimm, aka the lawyer Ian Grimwood. All things considered, he was still a big help to us two years ago. But after that, Crossbell soon became Erebonian territory and we fell out of touch. All the more reason why you should go visit him soon. Pete. If I recall, Grimwood took Pete in and acted as guardian, right? Yeah, and Pete's been working part-time at the news e agency recently. Long time no see, members of the SSS. What brings you here today? We just happened to be passing by, so we decided to drop in. So the news agency is all moved over? Yep, I was just doing the final checks before vacating the premises, actually. You know, as soon as we got rid of the editor desks things got real lonely around here reminds me of how things were after the independence incident oh i can imagine i'm sure it felt like your world was turned upside down when we arrested mr grimwood oh no please don't worry i didn't mean it like that right after everything transpired i also resented him but as time went on, I found myself able to face him and even start visiting him in prison. All because you guys managed to step in and save him from himself. I see. You're a tough kid, Pete. Yeah, so you've been checking in on him over the past two years? Yeah, in between working for the news agency. 
I missed a few visits because he had penile labor, labor, but we kept in touch. Between you and me, he was terribly worried when you all were working underground against the Empire. Huh. I haven't been able to visit him since last year's occupation. Once today's sign-in ceremony is over, I plan on stopping by. I'm certain that he's truly happy about Crossbell's independence this time. I'd be glad if he was. Could you give him our regards? And tell him we'll be dropping in eventually, too. But of course. Again, none of this really means much to me, primarily because I never played these guys in their, their own game. So, I'm sure everybody who has played these games are having a nostalgia fit. Meanwhile, I'm just like, okay, this is happening. Oh, wow. It's looking real spiffy now. Warms my heart seeing this place again. When did the sign get put back up? After we repossessed the building from the Imperial Army, everyone in the city pulled together to help us return it back to the way it was before. I had no idea. You're all so loved. Hard to believe they used to call you bargain bin bracers. All that means to me is we worked hard enough to win them over. And you guys were a big part of making that happen. Looking up at this building makes it all feel real. We're really home. Can't blame you with how nice and cozy it is. It's like our second home. Exactly. And since we're here, why not drop in and say hello? The sheep. Yeah, the sheaf. The chief should be in, so yes, why not? Yep. This is going to be a party of mispronounced words and slurred actions. No, I'm not under the influence of anything, guys. It's just my natural way of talking, unfortunately. Hi! Oi, hitting the pavement with Noel and Wazi, huh? How goes the patrol? So far, so good, Chief. And hello, Commander? I didn't realize you'd be here when we stopped by. Well, surprise. I had some business to attend to here. You're assisting the SSS, then? Security detail has mostly been handled, so I don't suppose that's a problem. <laughs> Is it just me, though, or are you more gung-ho with their business than with the CGFs? Is that how it seems? I've never really thought about it before. Well, if you'd like, I could arrange to have you temporarily transferred to the SSS again. Y you really mean it? Wait, hold on. Sure, the SSS is special to me, but I'm fully committed to the CGF. You know that, Commander. Of course I do, I was only teasing. Try not to bully the answers too much. I'd say you're the naughty one here, Chief. Having a little secret rendezvous with the commander while the kids are away? Hmm? I mean, I know you two divorced years ago, but some flames are too hard to extinguish, aren't they? Knock it off, Wazzy. We shouldn't be prying into their private lives. Oh, boy. Y yeah, it's none of our business. Oh, well, I've been dying to know. Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm here for business, not pleasure. We were just discussing some of the details surrounding the sign-in ceremony's security. You got enough on your plate. You didn't have to come all this way here, you know. Is that consideration I hear? Or are you simply bitter I interrupted your quiet time? Would you rather be smoking the day away? Having faith in your sub subordinates, oh my lord is all well and good but every great leader knows there are times when you must lead by example now listen here lady i don't call me lady you're not getting any youngers sergi i hope that's sergi or sir guy <laughs> 
Isn't it about time you finally quit that smoking habit of yours? It will only... I get it already, damn! Stop busting my balls, Sonya! That was awesome. Sorry, Chief, but she's got you whipped. <whistles> By the way, has our runaway member shown up at all? Nope, afraid not. I had hoped he would by now. I've called you and Tio back here in an instant. That's a shame. It's been too long. He could at least make it back for the signing ceremony. Who are you talking about? Wait. Is this about Zeet? Yeah, he showed up to help during the operation last month, but disappeared as soon as it ended. Tio and Kia really miss him. I wish we had any idea where he went. Well, he is still a holy beast at the end of the day. It's only natural he wouldn't want to get his paws dirty in mankind's business. Maybe seeing it... Maybe seeing to it that Crossbell was liberated was his final mission. Not that it's any of my business what he does. I don't think the A-Lady upstairs has any rules regarding whether he has to be a stranger. I would hope not. Zeet is still a registered police dog. He belongs with the SSS. Oh my gosh. I'm sure we'll see him again someday. Yeah, me too. Well, if he does show his mug around here, I'll give you a call. Don't let it bother you too much, though. There's still plenty of work to do around the ceremony and all. Given the circumstances, the police will put on charge of security for today. The CGF will have units stationed throughout the city to provide support, but you should be wise to keep your guards up. Roger that. We will. There's nothing our two departments can do when we work together. Sounds like fun. <laughs> All this niceness and cuteness is well and good, but I still have that feeling in the pit of my stomach. Something is going to happen. And I don't think that something is good. Orcus Tower. Yep, I remember that place. Everything looks busy near the Civic Center right now. Yeah, this is where the ceremony is being held today, so I'm not surprised. This district's probably going to be even busier later. Yeah, let's see if everything's in order. It's the brights. Mm. Nothing beats ice cream after a job well done. I'm glad that stall in the entertainment district was still there. Although, I'm guessing we won't have much time to relax like this going forward. With all the guild work we need to do. I mean, yeah. But that's why we've got to make the most of every chance we get. Oh, you've got some on your cheek. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> the flavor you got is really nice, too. Knew I should have gotten a double. Are these two brother and sister or are actually a couple? I don't remember. Amazing weather, delicious ice cream, a primo eating spot. It's like a dream. Huh? What's up? You've gone totally red. I still can't get over the way you do stuff like that without batting an eye. I thought I'd gotten used to it. You still catch me off guard sometimes. Wait, what? What'd I do? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You want another bite? Ah, uh, heck yeah I do. You're the best, Joshua. Lay it on me. Ah. Uh... <laughs> yeah, maybe not in public. <laughs> oh, come on. We haven't had a chance to do this in ages. Pretty please. Oh. Uh, hey there, you two. <laughs> yep, what a way to ruin the moment, you three. We, uh, didn't mean to interrupt. Uh, how long have you been there? Long enough to know that you like to use his face as a butter knife. 
I'm mortified. Mortified. <laughs> you needn't be. I'm sorry we spoiled your fun. Though I think I've gone as red as you two now. <laughs> now that was a sight for sore eyes. I haven't seen a couple so clearly head over heels for one another in a while. Ah, so they are a couple then. That's good to know. Wait. A couple? Again, I don't know anything about these characters, so... I mean, I know very little of them because they had been in Cold Steel, but I don't know their stories. You were like two blissfully unaware lovebirds. Yeah, I was just savor dessert, I swear! I did try to warn you. It's good to see you three again. Although I suppose it hasn't been that long since Oliver's wedding. It sure feels like it has, given how busy we've been ever since. I wasn't expecting to run into the two of you all here in Crossbell. We're here on a job from the guild. After the signing ceremony, Calvert and Erebonia are going to be setting up... Consoliates here, see? Say what now? I hope I said that right. So we were asked by the ambassadors for both countries in Libero to escort their secretaries here. Huh, that's pretty big news. The ambassadors who hired us are the ones who will be serving as consuls, too. Their names are Elsa and Deville. We kind of go back a ways with them. You'd think they were mortal enemies at first glance, but they're... But they actually complement each other really well. I think they'll be both brilliant mediators in these difficult times. I would hope so. And trust your judgment, so that's reassuring to hear. Even with the war behind us, there's still plenty of diplomatic problems between the Empire and the Republic, like reparations. So here's hoping these consoles can go some way towards normalizing things between the two. Yeah, that's an issue the entire region is going to need to address going forward. Still, even if they're lingering problems, I really believe the world's heading in a good direction. Me too. I sure hope so. I would, considering um, Vita's group, I can't think of their name at the moment. Aren't they still kind of on the loose? I mean, yes, I know the Black Workshop has been handled, in quotation marks. I don't think we've seen the last of them. I still think there's some part of their members out there somewhere. Still, it sounds like you're going to be in Crossbell for a while longer, right? We'll have to show you what's new around the city once the signing ceremony is over. I'll introduce you to some of my favorite date spots. Total privacy guaranteed. Yeah, I think I've had enough of being embarrassed in public for one year. <laughs> well, I suppose we'd all better get back to work. You've got to be kidding me. Sharon? Alyssa! Goodness. This is simply divine. I didn't think I'd miss seeing that girl. I am surprised to see that you're back. <gasps> Tola! <laughs> I'm glad it meets with your approval. She still sounds the same. You feel my fatigue fading away with every sip. Well noted. It is a variety of Earl Grey from Orid, particularly suited for easing exhaustion. I find it goes especially well with these scones, too. I can't believe I'm saying how much I missed Alyssa, despite the fact that I've had quite a few bad feelings of her. Thank you very much. This isn't my first time trying your tea, but I can see you've become better at brewing it better than ever. Why, thank you. I've been renewing my efforts to improve ever since the war's conclusion last year. 
So it seems nobody makes a cup like you do, Sharon. It is serving to dispel some of the anxiety I was feeling about this aftermoon ceremony, too. I feel the same way, and it's given me the boost I need to work hard this afternoon. Yeah, why are you here, Toa? I hope we're not interrupting your little tea party, ladies and gentlemen.